the BYU Multicultural Office hosted a fiesta on Friday night to celebrate Latin American cultures on campus. Universe Live reporter Joel Layton is in the newsroom to tell us about the fiesta. Joel? The fiesta that has become a yearly tradition for the Multicultural Office. It's an opportunity for students of different backgrounds to show off their cultures through the power of song and dance. <laughs> Hundreds of excited attendees filled the Wilkinson Center to celebrate Latin American cultures. The fiesta hosted five different cultures represented on campus, including Brazil, Mexico, the Caribbean, Colombia, and Peru. Each performance showed off distinct songs, dance moves, and outfits, from the wavy dresses of Mexico to the belled boots of Peru. The break room was filled with excitement, nerves, and some last minute practice, as each culture waited for their set. Peruvian student Shiro Contreras is anxious to represent his home country. I know, I just love my culture. I love Peru. I mean, I grew up in Peru and I served my mission in Peru, so Peru is almost like my whole identity. The performance means a lot to Latin American students, many of whom have left their home countries to study at BYU. When I represent my culture, I help others understand my culture. Sometimes people just are afraid of others' culture, but if I show them, if I share it with them, if I start the, the interaction, they're, they'll be willing to enjoy my culture too. The audience erupted into applause at the close of the fiesta. Attendees from all backgrounds were visibly moved by the display of cultural heritage. Coloni Hiller visited from Vineyard to see her brother in the Caribbean performance. I just love like all the different cultures. I think it was a great experience to be able to see the different types of outfits that they wear and the different dances they have and everything brings like so much more, I would say like unity. For the audience and performers alike, it's a night they won't soon forget. Tickets sold out for the Fiesta days before the performance, and it's easy to see why. Reporting for Universe Live, I'm Joel Layton. Thanks, Joel.